Hello to everyone. Today I wanted to talk about uh, aloe vera uh, products and in particular about aloe vera for our living products and uh, uh, there about particular products as well. So this is um, aloe vera bitten peaches. It is 91% uh, pure aloe vera gel, uh, vitamin C, vitamin E, and the peaches flavoring. This is uh, certified aloe vera. So this is certified by International Aloe Vera Council. Uh, and this is a pure uh, purified aloe vera product. So it is safe to consume internally. So this is what it looks like. I already poured myself a little bit here. So you can see actually bits and bits and of aloe vera uh, plant. It's um, a little bit um, reminds me of the jelly. So you drink it and you sort of feel it on your on your tongue. So very very tasty. Um, so. What is it what makes aloe vera plant so interesting and fascinates a lot of people's uh, mind uh, out there? And why it is that I am personally using this plant as well? So apart from many, many, many usages uh, externally and uh, many usages internally, uh, I probably would uh, elevate a couple of very important properties of this plant, which uh, made me or captivated my attention and made me turn to this plant as well. Uh, so probably the number one, which is very, very important for me, and uh, I suspect was very important for a lot of people out there, that uh, this um, plant has antifungal, antiviral and uh, antibacterial properties when consumed internally. Uh, second, big enough um, property that it has a lot of uh, vitamins and minerals which when consumed um, 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 in this jelly form is way easier to digest and way easier to utilize um, by the uh, organism as well. Um, of course uh, it is a very uh, it's a, a general tonic for health uh, but Please remember that uh, with this plant also comes um, laxative effect. So drink it moderately. I personally drink uh, probably slightly, well, probably yeah, slightly less per day. Uh, but if you're starting out, just try to adjust your uh, body to the amount you uh, can, to can tolerate and uh, will, will drink without any laxative effect as if you will so uh, i personally love it um one of the reasons why i turned to this plant is because i have a psoriasis and after trying it all out there um not unfortunately not a lot of things help there's a lot of mis misleading information and uh, you know the uh, um general or the the doctors out there couldn't really help me apart from put, putting me on a very very strong medication which uh, i was not willing to risk my health because that was probably even 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 riskier to consume those medications than just to live with it as it is so that's why i turned my interest and turned my attention to this plant and together with this plant in combination with a strict diet uh, and strict regimen i um you know, I, I learned to, first of all, I managed to uh, get this disease under control. Unfortunately, I can't tell that I cured it, but uh, I, I manage it. I manage it well. Sometimes it goes away totally. Sometimes it comes back. Uh, of course, you know, if we are talking about psoriasis, it's a total different, you know, different topic. Uh, but I can say that this uh, drinking this juice can definitely, definitely help me to overall keep it under control. With together with uh, with uh, so, um, coming back to um, aloe vera, uh, 
I add aloe vera to my um, diet as a supplement to amongst the many other ones which I'm not going in this particular video I'm not going to dwell on because um, I'm going to be doing in different videos about the uh, the diet I'm having and if someone is interested in particularly what uh, diet I am um, adhering to uh, with bearing in mind the psoriasis which I have it's going to be a different video but today I just wanted to talk about the aloe vera that I'm drinking it I'm loving it um, of course uh, if you're starting out you have to be careful you have to learn and understand your body um, how it behaves because as a matter of fact, all we, what we are consuming in a way affecting it actually in a big way affecting us. And this is um, aloe vera is actually cure. So when you're curing something, when you're taking medication on or, you know, whether it's natural, homeopathic or the sort of general, uh, general medication, you try to dosage it. So try, if you're starting out, try to be more careful because it will start flushing your body and apart from having a laxative effect it will literally making your body getting rid of the old toxins heavy metals um, microbes uh, fungi and all that and in a way if you do it too quickly if you rush through it you may um, affect your body it you may feel a little bit sort of worn down tired uh, and you know maybe some you, you will get like for example when I started out and I loved it so much I was drinking and drinking and drinking and then at some point I felt that wow 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 hold on uh, there is something in my kidneys it's pulling something in, in here and there um, and uh, you know it started to kick in it started to work it started to flush everything and it is in a way a load on your body which is not used to it so you know drink it but but you know start slowly be careful just see how how your body adapts to it um, but definitely try it try how it works for you what it does for you uh, and um, you know comment on this video or just you know just just share it on your Facebook just um, just you know just see how it works out for you so um, I hope I covered everything um, if you have any further questions please don't hesitate to, to write to me or to comment and I will try to get back to you